what's up guys this is pastor canayo one more time so this is uh, i just did a tutorial about uh, arrays so now we're going to be using arrays using the same concept but using images how we can we can call images to show up in the browser in the browser so we're going to be using like i said arrays and see how that works so i got my uh my uh, text editor ready so i got this ready to my browser and I got my pictures ready. So we're going to be using six pictures right here. Six. Okay. Okay, we're going to start. So first, let's, let's put a picture right here, our image. Let's get our image first. Um, so let's put the image that is going to stay there the whole time. So Let's call fam that JPG. So let's give her an ID so we can call it. So let's put images as a name. Now let's do a button. So every time we click, it will show up an uh, image. So we're going to use on click event. So the function is going to be um, call my images parentheses and let's put click here for an image click click here for a, an image cool let's see what we got so far if you give me a long oh man this is just a big big picture right here let's uh let's fix that let's give him a, a width a width of 300 and also a height of 200. and that should fix our image right there bam cool cool beans now it's, it's, it's not working my button right here so now let's do a function so we can call call the images okay function my images parentheses we're going to be using the dom right here document that get element by ID. So what we gave in the name for an ID? Images right here. Images. Let's put that name in there. So right here, instead of using inner.html because we're not using text, so we're going to be using picture, which is src equals. Oh yeah, you know what? Actually, I was forgetting the most important thing where the images are going to come from. Man, let's just build the array. The keyword bar and let's put us a name images. Um, let's use it. Let's put. Let's, let's see where is my file for my images right here. So we have bulb under the folder images. Bulb. That PNG. We're going to call five images total. If I just copy and paste all of this, two, three, four, five. So let's change the names. So where the second one's phase one is a PNG. Let's go to Foco. Yeah, I usually put like a Spanish names. Foco. And then we go to PC, JPG. It's a PC, JPG. 
and then I have person PNG. Okay, let's save that. And now we got our images. Should be good to go. But now let's call the image. Let's put the image right here. Um Let's call the array now. Images. So same concept, right? Like we did before with the array, same thing. So this has position 0, 1, 2, 3, 4. There's four, there's five pictures should be from 0 to 4 positions in order. Uh, let's call number 0, which is going to be a bulb. So let's click it. It's a bulb. Nice. Cool. Let's call 012. Let's call number 2 focal. Let's refresh that. Nice. Right there. Cool. Let's call the last one. 01234. Let's call number 4, which is going to be a uh, PC. Wait. Zero, one, two, one, two, three, four. Oh, uh, it messed up in here. Where's person? One, two, three. Let's do three. What is three? Cool. But what is PC not working? What is in PC? Should be me, right there. Why JPG? Images, PC. PC, JPG. Yeah, zero, one, two, three, and four. Should be four. That's kind of weird. Oh yeah, it's right there. I think I did something wrong in there. But anyway, so it's fixed. It's right there. But anyway, so that's me right there. So, okay, cool. That was a uh, array using images. All right. Thank you. Hope you guys like it. Like and subscribe. Thank you.